Hi friends, this is Edu Skills. OED made easy. Our mission is to make you fall in love with OED. And if you are watching this on YouTube, kindly consider subscribing the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like our work, and please do share your comments so that we customize upcoming sessions accordingly. And please do share your contacts so that we may reach out to maximum people who are really struggling, especially financially struggling, to crack OED. We never charge for any of our services, so let's serve the humanity. Now, coming to today's business. The National Health and Medical Research Council guideline suggests A. Drinking more than two standard drinks a day B. Drinking 100 ml of wine or 285 ml of beer a day is equal to a standard drink C. Drinking at least two standard drinks a day is equal to more than two D. Drinking two standard drinks a day or less. What what about the heart health benefits of alcohol? Well, the it, evidence is inconclusive and potentially flawed at present. The Cancer Council says adding that the National Heart Foundation advises against drinking red wine or any type of alcohol to prevent or to or treat heart disease. The message to consumers is that there is no evidence to suggest there is a safe level of drinking when it comes to cancer. However, given that the risk increases with the amount, the Cancer Council suggests that anyone who wants to drink should stick to the National Health and Medical Research Council guidelines. No more than two standard drinks a day for healthy men and women. A standard drink is usually described as the equivalent of 100 ml of wine or 285 ml of beer but it can vary depending on the alcohol content of the beverage thank you and can somebody tell me looking at these options what is the evident uh, strategy being used here more than 100 ml at least two scale. yeah exactly scale. the scale is used okay. here so i'm taking some specimens from your own reading materials so that uh, you understand what it is. Any other strategy? Reading the question okay. statement, what strategy you can find? Opinion of the suggestion. Yeah, suggestion. Yeah, suggestion. suggestion. Then other, yeah, one more thing. Immediately to go into the answer, where the, to locate the answer. What else is the strategy? However. No, no, no. I am asking national. about the question statement. Yeah. No, okay. national, national Health and health Medical health. Research yeah. Council. Means anything, I and mean, if there is a name, immediately you have to swoop into the place where the name is mentioned in the paragraph, right? So you have the name here almost at the end of the paragraph. Yes, so Father, national, yes. national Health and Medical yes, Research Father. Council guidelines, no more than two standard drinks a day for healthy men and women. And however, there is uh, one more strategy here. Contrast. However, contrast. so I told you, yeah. So I told you the answer will be definitely after the contrast word, not before that. So as soon as you see a contrast okay. word, you know, ninety-nine plus percent of the time, the answer will be after the contrast word. So here you have to start reading from this contrast word. Given that the risk increases with amount. The Cancer Council suggests that anyone who wants to drink should stick to the National Health and Medical Research Council guidelines. No more than two standard drinks a day for healthy men and women. Okay, so which could be the answer? Okay, let's, let's, yeah, let's go, let's, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's let's go in detail. How many strategies? Mm -hmm. One, two. Suggestion, name, suggestion, scale, then contrast. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's check, let's check. We'll do look into detail. See, more than two, 100 ml of wine or 285, the equivalent of 100 ml of wine, 285 ml of beer. A standard drink is usually described as the equivalent of 100 ml. One drink is 100 ml of wine or 285 ml of beer. So at least two standard drinks means, at least two standard drinks means you, have, you can drink more, right? At least two you have to drink. Right? Mm -hmm. At least you have to drink three liters of water every day, which means it's, it's recommended that you, that you drink more. And you can see heart health benefits of alcohol, the topic sentence, health benefits of alcohol. But what about the heart health benefits of alcohol? There's a question mark. So that also tells you there is a controversy here. 
there is a controversy here there is a question mark which says there is an agreement and disagreement here the evidence is inconclusive there is no evidence to suggest it's a safe level of drinking it shows as if it is saying there is no evidence to suggest there is a safe level of drinking when it comes to cancer it looks as if there is no safe level but however changes the whole scenario the contrasting world okay we will take the scale first see now as i said the examples we have looked into all most majority many half use uh, or some and few boiling water hot water warm water cold water ice more than two okay at least two two a standard drink so this is the scale being used here they are assessing whether you can understand these expressions so more than two means anything more than two three four five six all these whereas at least two means you should drink at least two means two minimum and it can be more correct na and two means just two okay and one standard drink that is the thing now here you see more than two at least two two a standard drink that is 100 ml or 250 ml the paraphrasing is used here contrast word however this is a scale this is a contrast word hedging words in the question statement nhmrc that is national health and medical research council and function suggests function of the language paraphrasing drinking 100 ml of wine or 85 ml of beer a day which that is a question uh, and the answer option here the spec says a standard drink is usually described as the equivalent of 100 ml of 100 ml of wine or 285 ml ml of beer okay so this is the paraphrasing used here to confuse you these are given so exactly you should know such confusions they will create and you should be beware of those things so that you don't confuse yourself and now you see i said but what about the heart health benefits of alcohol this is the question statement there is a question so it is a topic sentence only thing there is a question mark which means there is a controversy going on in this paragraph which definitely tells you the question mark tells you there will be a contrasting expression and your answer will be after the contrasting expression clearly it says however suggests the council suggests national health and medical research council suggests guidelines same word is here no more than two standard drinks a day no more than drinking two standard drinks a day or less no more than means maximum right at least means minimum no more than means maximum that is the scale there so you should be able to understand the difference between at least two uh, standard drinks and no more than two standard drinks a day so drinking two standard drinks a day or less is the answer these are the types of uh, questions being repeatedly asked in your oet reading test okay now again check this see national health and medical council guidelines this clearly this name clearly tells you just search for the name in the paragraph it can be a, a, an organization a person or a device whatever whenever a name happens uh, see you see in the hedging word or the keyword of the question you have to soup immediately go into that portion of the text then suggest is another word guidelines is another word here it is used here suggest is here so when it's a marshi the name contrast word scale more than two no more than two two and and a drink at least two two and at least two more than two no more than two two at least two. yeah now sign post being used again i am illustrating this this is how you have to analyze the reading text at the as well as the script of the uh, listening test and also when you listen to the audio the same structure will be used and the side headings or the topic sentence will be hinted at by one when there is a dialogue by the professional health professional and you will definitely hear the other person uh, responding with the topic sentence repetition of the topic sentence okay so name is there in the as a sign post in the question statement contrast word is there then scale is there that i have clearly given you and cause and effect language you know industry i gave you the same example i am repeating how they put you trick you putting the cause in the beginning and effect in the beginning and changing the structure syntax of the sentence cessation is the cause of global warming as same sentence is put global warming is the result of industrialization or industrialization leads to global warming all these three sentences mean the same but you should be know you should know what is cause and what is effect 
what does the article tell us about the risk of falling people a people over 65 need extra facilities to help them avoid falls b more people over 65 fall in hospital environments compared with other places c only a minority of people over 65 fall at at least once a year assessing risk and prevention falls and fall related injuries are common and serious problem for older people people aged 65 and older have highest risk of falling with 30% of people older than 65 and 45% of people older than 80 falling at at least once a year the common cause of falling includes distress pain injury loss of confidence loss of independence and mortality falling also affects the family members and cares of of people who fall all people aged 65 or older are covered by guideline recommendation as they have the highest risk of falling according to the guideline recommendation all people 65 or older who are admitted to hospital should be considered to a malnutritional assessment for their risk of falling during their hospital stay thank you and see here with the highlight can you make out what's what are the, uh, the strategies being used the idea scale yeah scale. again you again you have scale you have comparison you have uh, uh, yeah scale uh, multiple times you have scale and also i'll tell you about the structure of the paragraph how it helps so you see what is the topic sentence falls and fall related injuries are a common and serious problem for all older people okay falls of older people is the controlling idea anybody can fall right but this paragraph will speak only about elderly ones older people not about kids uh, children or youngsters so controlling idea as i told you in the previous sessions you should understand the controlling idea and you know it's a serious problem so they are speaking about a serious problem you have cause problem. and effect cause and effect language there is a fall and what happens due to fall okay and now you know here again you have people more people only a minority highest risk see very first part you have the answer falling with 30% of people older than 65 falling at least once a year what is the equivalent of it anonymous of it or paraphrasing of it in the options 30% of people older than 65 falling at least once a year only a minority minority yeah. minority yeah only minority of people over 65 fall at least once a year so 30% means not majority it is minority it's not more people more is majority right and people is common and here it may look like highest risk of falling and it may look and minority and highest is contradiction no there's not a contradiction highest risk of falling tells you here is the answer because there is a comparison and a scale do you get me and we we can eliminate these things because extra facilities the paragraph doesn't speak anything about extra facilities to help them avoid falls nothing about the facilities in hospital over fall in hospital environments where do they fall such statements will not occur in this why because this is, is using cause and effect language they will not say where they fall normally they will say here all the people is used so definitely who they will answer who and they fall and what happens after the fall okay so there will be a cause effect a problem and its effect then solution so this later part speaks about the solution but your answer is in the very second sentence or the developing sentence as i told you yesterday supporting sentence developing sentence gives you the answer and one idea is that you have number here okay number is given so you can focus on those numbers easily so what is the structure here one problem is given what is the problem elderly people falling very often cause is effect solution i'll explain yes what is the problem fall related injuries of older people cause fall right fall is the cause 
and the effect is injuries the human cost of falling includes distress pain injury loss of confidence loss of independence and mortality death so this is the effect clearly they are developing the sentence with a topic sentence a supporting sentence then developing sentences and again a conclusion falls and fall related injuries are a common and serious problem for older people so problem is the topic sentence or the point this is the same paragraph i have put into columns people age 65 and older have the highest risk of falling this is the cause supporting sentence explanation with 30% of people older than 65 falling at least once a year evidence is the developing sentence as i told you explanation the human cost of falling includes distress pain injury loss of confidence loss of independence and mortality falling also affects the family members and carers of people who fall this is a supporting sentence too which is again explanation which is the effect of fall okay all people aged 65 or older are covered by all guidelines recommendations so these are the solutions this portion gives solutions which is the developing sentence again illustration or evidence so what are the solutions covered by all guidelines recommendations yes. who are admitted to yes. hospital should be considered for a multi-factorial assessment and that is being given with all the details okay what you have to do you have to go through the same paragraph passage text and try to analyze yourself without looking into the screenshots if you have taken by yourself okay again i am trying to stress the structure okay as i told you here you have cause and effect language but earlier we have seen a point problem reasons discuss reasons one two three there's one paragraph okay this would be also point problem solutions discussed one solution then you have not reasons here solutions one two three and this could be also benefits as i said in rice paragraph regarding rice benefit one benefit two benefit three benefit four we have seen as test today and you maybe you will have a paragraph about advantages of something or merits of something you have then made advantage one advantage two advantage three advantage four hope you have understood something if you want me to visit any of the slides you can tell me now otherwise we'll put in okay. nice class brother today mm -hmm. thank you so Great. much father yes Good night, Good night. 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 Good night.